good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If I play any more of that, uh, you know what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to get copyright claims, but that's okay. Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Studio Live today, and uh, we're back here in Logic Pro working on this song that we've been working on throughout the month of February. Uh, it is the middle of February, the 17th of February here in Australia. It'll be the 16th, depending where you are in the world. So we don't have a whole lot of time. The weird thing about February is it's a very short month. Uh, if you're new to this series in particular, I am not a Logic Pro professional. I'm a Logic Pro newbie, hence the name of this video and of this series. But uh, what I've decided to do, whether it's foolhardy or not, is learn how to use Logic by diving in and writing, recording, and releasing a song in the month of February using just Logic Pro, and uh, that's what you can see here. So we'll, we'll take a quick look back in time, but uh, today it's going to be all about... Oh, all about the keys as I whack the, the, the key here. Uh, so I've got my, my MIDI keyboard uh, plugged in here. I use the M Audio Key Station 49. That's this little sucker here. I'll just come over here for a closer look. That's this one here. So uh, it's just a very standard uh, 49 key. In fact, a, a cool thing that happens sometimes, not not often, but um, uh, the the distributor for M Audio and, uh, and Akai reached out this week and said, oh, I see you use a key station 49. We might have some things coming soon. And I'm like, ooh, do tell. So uh, yeah, who knows what's coming, but uh, probably just broken. Now they're going to like, oh, you gave away that we're going to bring out something new. Now you don't get anything. So could I say key station mark four, perhaps, uh, since we're using the mark three now? Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll go through and I'll give you a, a quick tour of this song so far for those that are just catching up on the series here and uh, for those that are here live I'll say good day to you in just a moment I'm just gonna hide that editor there I still haven't quite worked out my shortcut keys but I'm getting there uh, I did get one cool tip this week uh, which was from John uh, shout out to viewer John which is now I've got to remember it I believe it's control command and scroll no it is uh, option command scroll no it is uh, shift command scroll no now I've completely forgotten it he basically told me how you can, um, there it is. It is control, option, scroll. I was trying to work out how to scroll in and out. So how you could actually zoom in and out quickly without having to go to your zoom button up the top here. Without having, not, that, that, not that one, that's volume. Without having to go like that, you can go uh, control, option, zoom. And it goes in and out. Except I've still got my, um, there, there he is here now, John, John's here at the moment. Um, he's laughing at me because he told me and now I've already forgotten. Uh, but yeah, it, it's still, I've got the wrong way around because I need to change my, uh, what, what Apple call natural scrolling is very much not natural um, for me. Like I, I like the fact that, you know, up is, up is up and down is down, whereas Apple's different. Apple, despite the fact they don't give you a touchscreen Mac, they make your Mac pretend like it's a touchscreen. All right, let's, uh, let's come in here and take a listen to this tune and uh, see what we've got so far and make sure we've got a bit of an audio test. So that's what we got so far. We have a, an acoustic guitar here doing business. We've got our vocals here and a vocal double. I'm not I'm not in love with the effects we have on those vocals, by the way. Uh, we've got these response vocals that here in the chorus when I do this part. Uh, and you can hear me playing around as a part there that we'll look at in a minute, me playing around on the keyboard. Uh, we've got uh, two guitars. So we've got a guitar left and a guitar right because uh, I always like to have a nice wall of guitar sound. And they're just, uh, they're not really super like distorted or crunchy or anything. They're just doing a pretty basic kind of sound here. But I dialed in these tones using Logic and I'm pretty impressed already with the Logic tones, I must say. I think that that's actually a pretty solid guitar tone just for a built-in... And here's the thing, guitar tones can kind of be separated out because any guitar sim can make a nice, uh, crunchy, distorted tone, but making a, a good, sparkly, clean sounding tone uh, is a lot more difficult to do. Uh, we've then got uh, a couple of basses. So I've actually got two bass lines, which is the first time I've kind of recorded a double bass, double bass line. Because I wanted one doing the, doing the low down. So 
So the top the top bass is almost doing like a baritone guitar part. So that could be on a guitar, but I kind of like it up there on the top of the bass. So that's what we've got so far today. My goal is to uh, play around with some keys. Now, I haven't used keys very much. Now, let's just delete this. This was my... Actually, no, I'll leave that. I'll undo. Uh, this was just my playing around in, uh, in there. Um... We, we, I want to work out, do we need any piano? Do we need any pads? Do we need any brass? Do we need any strings? Your job here, if you're here live, is to help me with this and let me know, what does this song need? What are you hearing in this? And if you're watching on the replay, don't worry, we love you just as much. Leave your comments down below because we've got a couple of good, a uh, couple of days to, to sort of workshop this before we start, ne start needing to do the full-on tracking and uh, mixing and mastering for the very first time in Logic. You know, no pressure or anything. Uh, let's say good day to uh, to a few folks here. Uh, sing along, S Espanol, perhaps. Hello to you. I think you were here well before the start. Uh, I think uh, a new GB iOS pack is dropping soon. Well, that'll be just right because I'm right here in the middle of Logic, and they'll probably do that. They'll throw a, a GarageBand iOS pack for me to uh, to review while I'm trying to focus in on this. Hello, Tremor Bear. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, they do seem to come out very regularly. Hello to uh, Deep Gravity. Uh, hello. Uh, heard your new release song, a very catchy song. Yeah, so um, thank you. Uh, my new song called Toxic Ego has just dropped. In fact, you know, I wouldn't be a very good at self-promoting. Considering it's called Toxic Ego, wouldn't be very good at self-promoting if I didn't actually uh, do this. So if you just go to petejohns.com slash toxic... Uh, then that'll take you straight to the the page here. This is the Song Whip page where you can uh, go and check it all out there. So I'll throw this here in the chat. If you haven't checked it out already, it is uh, it is my, my it's my January song. We created that one in GarageBand iOS, and uh, now we are creating this song for this month in uh, in this one here in the Logics, which is very cool. A uh, little John who said uh, good day to you. Yeah, it does take a bit of getting used to. Uh, Command R repeat is great for patterns. So I have heard that as well. That instead of looping, so instead of using like your looper here and looping these out where you know it all links back to there, um, that Command R it doesn't loop it, but it creates a copy of the last one. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to start exploring that. Oh, now it won't let me undo. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Command R I've heard is a good thing as well. We're, we're learning as we go along here. We are learning. Uh, hello to Sean Chandler. G'day to you. Hello to Doug. <laughs> yeah, the ratcheting. If you didn't see the new video, uh, there's a very disturbing part in there with some ratcheting going on. Um, I don't even know if, if that was spelt correctly. I said there's one typo in there uh, that I found. Uh, and yeah, my, my wife was like, oh, you, you put owl instead of all. So there you go. Now you, now you know. Uh, Shift command G will move a track stack with the tracks you've highlighted that can save up a lot of screen real estate. Oh, okay. All right, I'll, I'll have to, again, what, what, what I'll do at the end of all this is go, oh, yeah, I need to, um, I need to kind of do a, uh, one of the most useful ones that I've come across. Uh, only used looping in GarageBand and Logic, having repeated regions is way more effective. Yeah, that's what I found. That's what I found. Uh, subtle pad coming on the second verse. Yeah. So th this is good. Good idea. This is what I'm thinking. Uh, hello, Riccardo Braggio. Uh, uh, hello from Italy. Thank you. Yeah. So this is the sort of thing I'm, I'm looking for here. Um, in the second verse. So just to give you an idea, the first verse is. There's some really bad reverb on there. I just need to. I, I need to quickly find this now. Where's Let's start learning these. So the editor is E, which I think is where I need to go. No, that's the editor. What is the uh, the, the mix window, the one down below? The, it's not the mixer, is it? No, what's the what's the one that's actually going to show me? <laughs> I know, I know. Before you before you comment, you're about to uh, you're about to comment and say you don't know what you're doing there, John. So it's like no, I don't know. Smart controls, I think, is the one that I'm looking for. And what's the one in between here? The inspector? I think that's the I button. There you go. See, look, I'm, I'm starting to learn. I'm learning. Uh, so, yeah, so some of these have some pretty uh, bit too much delay on there. In fact, it might be the mixer that I need here. Uh, whoops, that's muting. Mixer is X, isn't it? So it's not muting. Uh, so I think I was sending too much of these. So this is a problem. I've got buses now. You've got to handle your buses. So I think I was sending too much of these out to the buses. And actually, I'll just turn off that tape delay. I think that was the one that was annoying me there. All of the words and blame. Yeah, that's better. It's time to fix what yep. we have. Broke. Inspector. That's the one. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. So, yeah. So that's the first verse. And then uh, our first chorus does a little bit of this. Not goes back to the start. So 
So you can hear there, I was playing around on the piano yesterday and I'm hearing in the chorus like a but I don't know what instrument needs to do that. Something that's like a plucky kind of instrument. Maybe a synth or something needs to do that. Uh, but yeah, to, to, um, to John's point here, the pad in this second verse, I think is what we need. Do you have the heart to see the way you I think this this is a section where we need da, da, da. Uh, and I don't know if it's like da, 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 or a da, 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 da. probably slower if it's a pad. All right, well let's see. So we're gonna do it for the first time. Sorry, I'll go back. I'll go back one step. Uh, so we're gonna create a new track. Just gonna right hit click and software instrument track because we're gonna use some MIDI here. And uh, let's see what we got in the way of pads. So do we have pad as a particular? We don't seem to have it as a um, as one of these. What cinematic or cinematic textures? Oh, hello! Wow. See, so yeah, I've I've not auditioned any of these sounds. I don't think we need anything quite this cinematic, to be honest. We we kind of need a a, a very uh, basic sort of one. Yeah, these these are more sort of sound designy kinds of ones. So, uh, do we need to, do we need to just try the strings? section instruments <laughs> um chord tapping on the guitar instead of a synth like the start of white wedding yeah like a ding 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 Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that that could actually be it. We'll, we'll put we'll put like a guitar synth on here and uh, try that to start with. Um, yeah, guitar through a Leslie speaker effect could be cool. Yeah, uh, you can buy keyboards with all the shortcuts printed on the keys. Ah, you can get a silicon to go over keys of a laptop. Very cool. Yeah, I should probably buy like my special like a Logic keyboard if I get into Logic. Don't forget, I'm a I'm a mobile music creator, so uh, this is all experimental at this point. Whether I stay, should I stay or should I go now, uh, is still up in the air. Hey, hey girl. So let's uh, have a look. So I think that's our pad. So what we can do is we can play the pad in. Uh, so I don't think this is the instrument, but we'll just play it in. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so um, let's hit record on this one. Now, I've never recorded, well, apart from playing around with this piano yesterday, I've never actually recorded, but it seems pretty simple to record in a virtual instrument. You just... Cue it up and hit record. So uh, let's give this a go. I do have a sustain pedal, but I'm not going to use sustain on this for the moment. Uh, and yeah, and that's what I'll do afterwards. We'll jump in and we'll uh, we'll search for pad and we'll see what we can find, shall we? Do you have the heart? We started it too late. Let's come back a little bit into our chorus. Uh, We'll go with that for now. Uh, we don't need that bit that we did incorrectly there. So I think we need, we definitely need a different sound in here. I was just playing around with it. So it needs to be more of a pad kind of sound here. So uh, yeah, as, as John suggested, why don't we actually search our sounds? Because we've got a good search option here by the looks and oh my God, we've searched pad and we've got plenty of pads. And I don't think I've even downloaded all of the different pads. <laughs> Why don't we try grand piano with pad and choir 
here. Uh, hello, by the way, to the folks who've dropped on in. G'day, Darren Anderson. Hello, Joe Glenn. Hello, Tomas Christ. Uh, who else did I see? Alex Bacchus is here. G'day to you. I uh, hope you're all doing well. And um, yeah, so uh, where, where was the thing? Yeah, so originally I put it to start half a, an hour later. I've brought it in earlier because uh, Thomas Christ uh, has you rock is back, and I completely spaced on that. So I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to be doing this at the same time as Thomas. Uh, so I, uh, I made it a little bit earlier because uh, after this show, you should go and watch uh, Thomas Christ. You rock. Oh, and I'm, I did mean to send you my new song, Thomas, and then totally spaced on it. But that's okay. Um, and g'day to Barry at Glenn as well. I have an idea is here as well. Uh, shift and left and right on the down key for vertical or horizontal zoom. Shift and left, right, up, down. Really? Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Shift. Oh, no. Is it shift? Because that, that seems to be, um, that seems to select. Or is it like control maybe? Whoa, that's like, that's weird. I don't even know what I'm doing there. That's some sort of weird Apple thing. Control up made it do that uh we'll, we'll play we'll learn keyboards in uh, keyboard shortcuts a bit later uh so let's just try this one now that we've changed the uh, this to that grand piano choir let's see what this sounds like that sounds terrible doesn't it <laughs> I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> so maybe not. All right, let's uh, let's go and search pads again and find something a bit uh, a bit more. We just need something pretty simple, don't we? What's that, what's our uh, classic pad going to be? Or maybe just a classic analog pad might be uh, sort of what we're looking for. Let's play. Let's bring that in. It's something along those lines, isn't it? Maybe almost like a sweep pad. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the end of the world is coming. <laughs> uh, if anyone that knows these has any other ideas, we'll play around with that. Then we'll move on and we'll just try some other little things. Yeah, we need something with a little bit less attack. We need. Uh, I was. I was probably happiest with that original uh, pa pad that we had there. What's a fast pad? That's probably going to have a, a fast attack. Yeah, we don't want that analog. Probably need the analog pad, but without as much of a pop at the start there with the attack. So this is where we can start learning how to use some of this stuff, or at least trying to. Because uh, if I go to the, I'm assuming the smart controls. Yeah, here we go. So we've got um, we've got our, the ability to change all of this stuff. Uh, so if we just play with this, and we'll change out. Yeah, so we can have like a, in fact, a faster attack is actually going to work better because it's the slow attack that's giving it. So you see the attack was set down here, like about, you know, 600 milliseconds, which means that there's almost a half second delay before it comes in, which is actually creating that undesired sound. So we actually want a faster attack on this pad. A bit like that. Maybe a little more vibrato in there. And I think that the pad, we need a, a harmony to come in in the second half of this. So remember our uh, shortcuts, uh, what is it? Option D, no, command D <laughs> to get the same thing here. So I think that uh, because... Something like that. So I'm just gonna try and play along and get a harmony on this uh, this pad for the second part. this one no all right so i think it needs to go da, 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 do, da, 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 da. so we'll delete that out there and we'll listen to this uh, again but we'll record this time
All right, let's see if this works. Uh, these work together as a, a pad when the rest of this comes in. So we don't want the first half. Where was where was the point where we uh, brought that in? Practicing my zooming. No, nope, terrible at it. Still terrible at it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I can actually zoom in. So. Oh. I'm still not keen on this tone, but I, I like the um, I like the harmonies that we get. Parts of that are good. Parts of that are just awful and not even uh, not even in a proper chord that is matching the chords that I'm playing. <laughs> Some of these are just rough. They sound okay in isolation, but um, when it comes in with the track, I'm trying to get like a more of a killers kind of vibe to this, if that makes sense. Does that pad need to come up an octave, perhaps? Is this uh, is this gonna is there too much going down in those mids? Um, let's see if I can learn how to quickly transpose up an octave. We're, we're learning here today. Uh, so surely I can right click and surely there's a transpose type option here. Someone's going to beat me to it and tell me. Uh, so we, are we editing? No, are we, we're not quantizing. We're not trimming. We're not splitting. Are we converting? No. Oh man. Uh, well, uh, We'll do it a cheat way here, hey? We'll come in here. We should be able to just grab these uh, notes and pull them up, right? There's got to be a quicker way to do this. There must be something within here which is just to, to bring it up and down an octave really easily. But there you go. That's going on my list of things to learn. Let's just see what these sound like up here. That note there in the harmony that's the bad one. All the power to change. It's got a bit to change the world. I'm, le I'm learning how to actually write notes in now because I've never actually done this before. Or oh, we can use the I'm assuming there's a like a draw tool in here. Yeah, this is this is why you this is why you don't do what I do, people. You uh you you don't do what I do to try and learn something. You actually learn it yourself. So yeah, I got I got no idea how to add uh, in a note here. So there you go. That that's the other way. That that's the other thing that we need to learn. The world, and I know you. So let's see if we can cheat. Can we just like copy and paste this note? Yeah. <laughs> the world. Just needs to go up as it. Alright, let's try these and these notes here. Oh, we've gone back to the start. So for some reason, I keep putting this cycle option on and uh, it's obviously just my lack of experience of not having a cycle option in things that I use like GarageBand, but I keep putting the cycle option on and going right back to the start. And then whenever I hit the play button, it plays it from the start. So I need to learn how to avoid doing that or... That sounds better. Alright, and that one needs to stop off at that same spot as well. 
Uh, so Thomas has kindly said to use the paintbrush, which is, uh, I'm assuming, is this one, the brush tool. Yeah, no, not, not true. Brush tool, pencil tool, eraser tool, brush tool. Okay. Oh, so you've got two... <laughs> <laughs> you got two options there. Is one like a right click and one's a left click or something? Why do we have two different pointers here? Why, don't, why can't I change pointer tool and brush tool independently there? Anyway, that's cool. So there's your brush tool. So that's what I needed there to actually paint in these. But I, I hacked my way around it by doing that. Anyway, we've, we've clunked our way to uh, this. Uh, right click on the play button to make it play normally. In, okay, right click on the play button. Ah, okay, so we'll take the play from cycle off. There you go play for a marquee selection, which is what we want here. How will you join me as... Now we want these to be perfectly quantized because these are pads. Pads you can quantize, you don't have to worry about that. So let's play around with our quantization. It is already quantized, but they're all going to be on eighth notes. So if we quantize to eighth notes, we've got 100% swing, we got no that. So is that pushing these right onto the notes? It looks like it's done a pretty good job, doesn't it, of putting them there. Oh, we've got separate zoom options, don't we? Yeah, so that's quantize those, the start of those notes right on, which is all we want. We, the tails can be fine. And let's come over to this one and make sure we've got the same eighth note. We do, eighth note quantization. Now there's quantization here, I'm assuming it just works so that you, or do you have to hit the Q button to quantize? Maybe you do. Yeah, maybe I had to do that. Because sometimes, see different DAWs handle quantization differently. Some you just set it and it automatically goes on. Some you actually have to hit the quantize button after the settings and then that changes it, which I think is the case for here. So let's just uh, make sure these are all. There you go, command is what switches the second tool. Gotcha. So we've got a command, uh, so you can use command for one. So let's say you wanted the pointer tool and then the brush tool was your command one, which is probably what I'd kind of like to do because I'm usually just pointing at notes. So th now the, the quantizing didn't actually sound quite right there. You can see there that this isn't actually quantized to the note. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, it's bringing it. See, because maybe I'm playing it so badly if I quantize it to the quarter note. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's only quantizing that note. So do I have to like highlight the notes and then quantize? Yeah, that seems to have done it. <laughs> we will learn. I've been watching the crap out of um, Music Tech Help Guy to try and learn a lot of this stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's, it's a slow process because I'm doing it amongst, you know, releasing other songs and doing tutorial videos. And now there's a rumor that there's a new garage band pack out. So uh, yeah, I got my work cut out for me, but that's fine. It's fun work. Every time I wake up and I get to do this job, I'm pretty happy with it. So I think that's actually... Yeah, that's in the zone. So is that last note the same on both of them? I might need to just change that. Oh, not all of them. <laughs> yeah, let's make it that chord there. All right. So what do we think? Uh, does this need to be strings or something different? Or are we happy with, uh, with that for now? We'll leave that for now. Let me know if you've got ideas for what we can do. Uh, question. Yeah, you can click and draw and shift select certain notes. Yeah. So uh, I'm assuming that's what we can like tap here. We can shift select and we can draw the box like I did before when I cheated with my transposition. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. This is heck. This is so fun. And thank you for those that are here helping us out. Uh, if you have any notes selected, it will only quantize those. Yeah, okay. So that and that was the trick here. So when I was doing it before, the reason it didn't quantize everything is that I actually had a note selected, and each note here, these options seem to apply to that note because it's telling me the velocity and it's telling me all the transposition stuff for that note. So it sounds like if I want to do everything, you can see how it's got one note selected in the top section here. And when I unselect it, it's got 
uh, on track classic. So this the whole track is then there. So then if I'm quantizing and changing tempo, I'm assuming uh, not tempo velocity. I'm assuming it's changing on all of the different tracks. Hmm. Okay, and you've got scale quantize, which I do need to play around with. Um, am I covering that up with Thomas there? You've got scale quantize there, which you can play around with. Um, I've also realized that I'm using this view. I might do that one. Is that going to give you a better view? It's just blocking the very bottom left here, but that's probably a better view for the whole screen of the logic. Now that we're halfway through the show. <laughs> uh, don't forget, you rock is coming up next if you're watching here. Uh, yeah, I can definitely find a nicer pad. The classic analog pad, like that's been around for forever. There's got to be some nicer pads here, but uh, it's just a matter of, you know, just going through and and sampling them because there's uh, there's all sorts of here. Let's, why don't we just do a quick a quick sample of just, we'll just use one of these and we'll just go through and see if we can find something really tasty. <laughs> the analog waves is quite nice. That's a bit nicer, isn't it? Maybe we'll put that with the synth pad. Yeah, that's cool. Now we've got like the two slightly different tones there so that when they're playing that same note, it's actually sounding a bit delightful. So why don't we, um, let's try a little bit of panning goodness here. So we'll just push this one half left. I know one's going to be in there for the first half, but that doesn't, things don't have to be balanced perfectly all the time. They can, they can be a little bit varied. So I'll come back here. So, whoa, that was weird. We've got some crackling craziness. Oh, let's see if it's going to do it again. No. There you go. There's a bit of a weird audio bug. In this last bit here, I'm hearing strings. I'm hearing like a string doing like a, a high-end string thing here to complement. So let's just experiment with this, shall we? New software instrument. Remember, this is all just about experimentation at this point of the song. Uh, around the arrangement time, you've got the, the opportunity to just try some things. So maybe some cellos, in fact. Yeah, some like nice high cello sort of going in there. Just to, let's see if this is going to Yeah, so I think I'm going to do motif there that just does so like that I reckon that's going to be like a cool little motif to, to put in there that's going to complement this uh, and will you join me as we please with those who have all the power to change Maybe it's just that last bit. Do, 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 do. Just this bit here. No, you may not be the one in the wrong, but we still need your help. Uh, try the section instruments. Yeah, good idea. All right. With some more voices. Yeah, let's let's see if this is going to work. Uh, ooh, Abbey Road. Abbey Wood, not Abbey Road. That would be... No, you We got the crackles back. <laughs> the crackles are backles. That sounds nice. But we still need your help. Hey, world. I just don't care which side you're hey, on. World. We must change what's going hey, on. World. Today. Hey, world. 
All right, I'm now. I'm hearing an ARP. Yeah, snap, crackle, and pock. I'm hearing an arpeggio coming in here at some point. So like a boop, 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 boop. Now, this is, this is going to be interesting because I've got no idea how to use the arpeggio. I mean, you're going to say, Pete, you've got no idea how to use any of this stuff. Um, by the way, I did have a question before, and I apologize I didn't get to it. It was something along the lines of, um, does logic inspire you to like be more creative over and above like something like GarageBand? I mean... I guess there's more instruments in here. There's there's more options, but sometimes more options are good and sometimes they can actually be overwhelming. So I'm not convinced that it's good, bad, or otherwise. I don't know. The uh, the, the the jury is still out on this one, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's see if we can go to software instrument track. And um, I'm assuming there's some... There is... Oh, there's his arpeggiator. Okay. So let's go to arpeggiator... Uh, Acoustic arpeggiator? What's the mallets? Let's uh, let's see. Does the arpeggiator? Oh, it does. But I don't know how then to um to change. Is this just, these are just, these would just be built-in arpeggiator ones, wouldn't they? I'm sure there's uh, there's other uh, arpeggiator is its own blue rectangle thing, is it? Uh, so yeah, I, I, I don't re oh, there it is. It's got it down the bottom here. No, that's just the, so these are arpeggiator things, but I'm assuming that these are just sort of predetermined loops that are just going to have arpeggiator. Let's just go bright digital chords. There you go. Uh, the arpeggiator is in the MIDI FX tab. Oh, okay. MIDI FX tab. Well, there's so many tabs here, man. I'm going to tell you. Um, I might have to, um, you know what? We'll, we'll create, because I want to do a pretty slow arpeggio anyway. We'll just find a, um, we'll find a, 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 a sound and then we'll arpeggiate it. This is going to be so fun looking back on when I've actually learned how to use this stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, why on earth did I not know how to do that? Uh, let's just find a, oops, we've ch we're changing the, we've, we're changing the already done there. We actually need a new one, don't we? New software instrument track. I think we want a whirly kind of sound. I like a whirlitzer. Um, so, I've, and I think this is going to be in the in the chorus. The hey girl. So let's come back here. But I know we can change. Hey. Something like that. So like a up an octave. Something like that. Let's just uh, see if I can play it in. I don't think I have the skills. All right, we'll uh, we'll record. Beware the smashing pumpkins, that clean rip. I know. It's it's so pumpkins, isn't it? I love it. Yeah, and, and I've, I've, I've heard about the smart instruments as well uh, and using Logic Remote. Yeah, that, that'd probably make it easier. So maybe we'll return. Maybe we'll return again next time and we'll play around with Logic Remote and use some of the smart instruments. Um, so it's not that. <laughs> that ain't it. But I think we just need something... Let's just try this really basic, subtle kind of thing here and see if... But I know we can change Hey girl, we can do a better hey job girl. I made a prop Alright, try that again, so... Mm. 
This is where Pete's keyboard skills get really put to the test, or lack thereof. Start in the wrong spot. Come back a bit. Uh, start from here. Oh, that's what I do. I click on that, and it turns on the cycle. Yeah, okay, now I know what I'm doing. But I know we can change. Hey, See if I can cheat. <laughs> Mr. Burns, I insist we cheat. All right. So we've got that in there now. We've, uh, we're going to do our, our zoom in thing. Way, there we go. We're getting better with the zoom. So we'll uh, double click on that one. Yep. All right. So we've got a very basic sort of pattern here. Doing the, oh, see, that's what I click on, isn't it? Go back. My, my navigation skills are poor. Hey, girl. So we need to, these are on one, two, two, these are on eighth note. So we'll just try, we'll quantize these to the eighth note. Wait, are they all selected this time? I think so. And that very first one had way too much. Um, I really hit it hard. You can see, I do like, I do like the, um, the fact that we can see the velocity so easily there. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's um, select them all and quantize to the eighth note. There you go. See? Let's see if I can um, cheat by just using this pattern and just dropping it down because it did it did it did it did it did it did it because it's it. So we'll just uh, we'll copy control uh, command C and see can we just paste it here and select these. Hey, girl. Yay! <laughs> and then we should be able to paste it again. And bring it on down. Is that going to work? Uh, yeah, and then we can just use the first one again. Oh, which we've already got in memory. We can just paste that in. And then it's got that. I don't know. I, I like that. I think that just a little subtle bit of uh, arpeggio there is is not going to be a bad thing. Uh, let's see if we can zoom back out. Yay! My zooming is is improving. It's still not good. I have gone too far out. All right. So we've we've got a couple of things in here. Uh, we need to come back to this piano, which is what we'll do last here. So the idea here is that during our chorus. Good question. Does the first one work all the way through? Potentially. I think it'll clash too much with the two other chords. It's worth trying though. Um, yeah. All right. So that's to go back a bit and that's to go forward a bit. Is this our... Uh, there you go. Okay. So the, yep, yep. Our, our decimal, our full stop and our comma keys uh, or our... What is that called? Like the, the, the greater than, less than, they're going to move us around. That is, these are the simple keyboard shortcuts I need. And look again, I know I could have used, I could have done some research and I'll be criticized for, I'm criticized for whatever I do, so I don't really care. But um, I know that I could have done some research and learnt the keyboard shortcuts first, but it's kind of fun learning what I need to know. Uh, and again, don't do what I do, do what I say and go watch Music Tech Help Guy. So let's bring up a piano here because I always like to uh, to have a bit of an idea of a piano. Well, why is this? Oh, because it's um, muted. Mute it out there. So the, the piano idea that I had in here originally was to do something like this. Like this. So I don't know about that. I think um I think I'm trying to use that same rhythm too much, and I think I need to leave that rhythm to the guitars. But maybe I do need some. Maybe not up here.
I reckon something like that. Uh, so I, I definitely don't want whatever we've got here. So we'll uh, let's use our keyboard. Let's navigate around with our keyboard. All right. Um, and we'll use John's tip here to use the left to go back a few bars. Oh, that's, that's gold. And then we'll use the R button. I like that. Yeah, we could just move around that, that chord, then it goes straight to the, the D and then we can get to that. All right, let's, let's give this a go. May not work here in our mix. Oh, no. We've got that cycle on. We can turn cycle off with C. We can move ourselves back to the area we want by holding that right one down. I can't remember. I don't have my section set up here, so I, I can't see, but let's just try. Oh, and I'm still on solo. Let's unsolo. I'm doing a lot at all, and I know that. All right. So undo that. We'll go back to the very start of the song and we'll just sort of play along here a little bit. Along those lines, so we'll undo and we'll go back and try it again. I think it needs... Does it need to go? Yeah, so I think it just needs the D, the B, and the G in the left hand here to play along with the piano part. So let's hit record and try this. I'm going to uh, not do the left hand at the same time. I'm not a good enough piano player to do that. So I'm just going to do the chords and I can always add the bass in after. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so up to there, I think, is okay. That bit after there, not so much. So um, I think, was it anywhere it came in? Maybe it needs to be an electric piano. I don't think I don't think we need any like more organic stuff in here. So uh, maybe we'll go back to our, our electric piano, just our regular electric piano. Let's see what this does. Oh, I don't mind that. Has. 
I actually quite like that. But I know we can change. Hey girl, we can do a better hey job. Girl, I made a this needs to be a different sound as well here. This one here with the... It needs to be like a um, slightly softer sound there than just the whirly. <laughs> That's not soft. Yeah, we'll experiment with that. We're, we're short on time hey, here, so, so we, won't, uh, we won't do too much more here today. But uh, yeah, maybe organ. Maybe, maybe organ is this one as well. Let's just try it quickly with the organ instead of the, um, instead of the electric piano. I do like that swirling electric piano. In fact, let's duplicate this out. I do like having unlimited tracks. I didn't think I would. I thought I would hate it, but I do like it. Uh, let's see if we can do this uh, command R. Yeah, that's even... Oh, that's that's so cool. Even when you're doing something down below, you can do it like that. All right. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's put this over onto an organ. Uh, just the... Maybe like the, just the rock organ. Yeah. <laughs> What happened to my um? Did did I put um? Did I put uh? Apparently, okay. Apparently, my um sustain didn't come across to when I changed it to an organ. That's super weird. Oh well, we'll go there. Can alter velocity too. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Velocity. You can alter velocity a lot easier. In fact, can you do what you can't do in GarageBand? And if you select a bunch, can you just make them all the same velocity? Or do they all stay? Oh, they're all relative. Yeah, okay. So it does the same thing. There must be a way to, to just say, make all these have a velocity of 60. But I'll learn that. I'll learn that in the future, I will. I don't want to remove all of the uh, all of the stuff. So what have we done here? Look, it has taken a bit longer because I've been battling my way through here. But I think we've got some some ideas here. So what have we got? We, we got ourselves some pads here. We've got ourselves some pads here on the left. And then they move into a pad on the right. We may need to change the sounds there. We've got an idea for some um, strings at the end here. I think I, I like that. The tail on these synths is too long. We need to change that. But yeah, and maybe the cellos need to do some more. Are these, what are they? They're violas now, are they? Studio violas we've gone to. Gotcha. Uh, so maybe they need to do a little bit of extra work there. Uh, did we did we make that a section instrument? I'm sure we did. I'm sure we made that like the Abbey Wood here. These could even be brass. This could be like French horn, and this could be like a uh, trombone or something. We'll have to play with that. All right. So we've done that. Uh, we've then we've we've got a bit of an idea for an arpeggio. which needs some work with its sound. But I think that'll work through our chorusars. And then uh, we've got this idea for the uh, the piano, which I think sounds a little bit better here on the uh, the electric piano, just to make it a bit of a softer. It needs to be played a lot better than that. I like the bring. Uh, I, was, I was proud of that little chord part. Uh, so we've got ourselves some, some ideas here. And this is the cool thing about uh, about creating on the fly. Excuse me, creating on the fly here. Uh, you can just throw in ideas and see what sticks and what doesn't. And will all this make it to the final track? Probably not. This is still a rock song after all, but it's worth exploring some of these ideas. So uh, we're going to go out by sort of listening to the latest mix of this. I'm going to bring up the mixer by hitting X on my keyboard. Hello, I'm starting to learn. Uh, we don't need these ones over here, so I'm going to start learning what these are for the shortcuts. Um, so our, our library is Y, our inspector is I. So if we go Y, that gets rid of our library. I gets rid of our inspector. <laughs> inspector reminds me of like a British, hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? 
I'm sorry, Inspector. I didn't mean to. Um, that was the weirdest thing ever. So uh, we <laughs> we are nearly done. Yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. Um, please, if, you, if, you, if you're here, if you're hanging out, uh, do do jump over. I think, well, that's the wrong way around. Uh, Thomas, correct me if I'm wrong, and hopefully I didn't move my show just for nothing, but I think you are live in five minutes with, um, no, you're live right now. I started late. So Thomas Christ is live right now. He's probably already over there uh, with you rock. So do jump over to Thomas Christ and check out you rock right now um but we'll go out with a little bit of a play of this just because i want to hear uh, what it sounds like in the overall mix so thanks for hanging out folks and i'll catch you uh yes thomas there he is there's the link back from a one week hiatus with you rock so i'll be over there in about two minutes time and i uh, highly recommend you do the same thing listen to some cool new tunes being spun by thomas christ over there but let's uh let's look at this confusing mixer panel and watch pete poke at knobs ding um hang on and uh, we'll, we'll play this tune. Uh, and I'll see you next time. I'll see you, actually, I'll see you t uh, tonight. Uh, do tune in in 11 hours time. Myself, Night Train 1988, our friend Al will be doing the Creative Town Hall. Should be a heap of fun. I'll see you then. Didn't work. Try it again. Space. I don't think we have that. I think that works well. On those sins. With those who have all the power to change the world, maybe they do and need to be brass. I like that bit. Da, da, do, da, da, do, da, da. Maybe they only need to be there in that last bit, and we need a different just drone throughout. Hey, Thanks, everybody. Peace out, indeed. Uh, thanks for all your help today, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Uh, bye for now. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Join us for Creative Town Hall. Go over and watch Thomas Christ now. 